Hello, folks. I'd like to present to you 10 ways to not just annoy your wife, but drive your wife insane. Why would you do that? Because you're bored. Now, I was at the zoo recently, and this is a good example of the, this behavior. There was a gorilla who was barfing into his hand. And a gentleman next to me was wearing a hat that is a question mark. And I said, sir, what is going on here? He was the questions guy. And he goes, yeah. He looked a little despondent. He said, you know, they have about the same IQ we do, and uh, they get bored. So that's what we do. Go to the gym and wear jeans. Work out in jeans. Be on the treadmill. It makes you look like a weird orphan or, or a guy who just got out of prison and is trying to get his life back together and doesn't know how society works. And make sure when she asks you, she has her bag with her Lululemon and everything. Make sure when she asks you, you've already handled it and you've packed your bags. Yes, I got everything. Let's go. Number two, do a bad job. Yeah, ask her uh, maybe if she needs help with something when the, the job is already done. You need a hand with any of this? Oh, you're done. Uh, that's annoying. If you do do the dishes, do a terrible job. And if you're dressing your children, take a, a page out of this guy's book. This is the hero of all bad job doers. Check him out. Can you see this? Yeah, look at this. This guy. Uh, did you send Olivia to daycare without a shirt on? Uh, I sent her with that thing on. Overalls? Yeah. Supposed to wear a shirt under overalls. Uh, gotta bleed ignorance here. <laughs> he sent his daughter to daycare in just overalls. He will never be asked to dress her again. Number three, get skinny dipping wrong. Think it means anytime you don't have clothes on and you get wet. When was the last time I went skinny dipping? <laughs> Probably the last time I had a bath, but I don't really, uh, I don't like baths. So uh, I haven't been skinny dipping, I guess, since I last had a shower. Number four, lick a cherry. In other words, don't understand how pesticides work. Hey, are these cherries washed? They're not? Number five, get a song wrong. Women, especially women my age, love Nana Cherry very, very much. That's their number one artist. And their favorite song by her is a little song called Buffalo Stance, and maybe not romance. She was like a New York kid, Vivian Westwood, back in the 80s, Madonna kind of years. They love her. And they also love a new thing called Jungalo style. It's bungalow meets a kooky, eclectic, jungly kind of a, a funny, quirky way to decorate. If you combine those two things and get her song wrong, it's gonna really get under her skin. And then down with the jungalo stance, and then baby not my man. Don't you get fresh with me? Do, 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 do. That's, that's buffalo stance. Get involved in Real Housewives talk during her show. That is her fantasy football. She waits all week for it. Why don't you get involved and uh, offer up some details about the show while she's trying to watch it. Oh. <laughs> There's the Countess. She loves her Pinot Grigio, right? It's Ramona who loves her Pinot Grigio. Number seven. And now this one's tricky. It's going to take some splaining but quite simply, abandon your children. Okay, this one's really good and it's really advanced. I'm not sure you're ready for this, but what you do is you get a babysitter on a night where you were supposed to look after the kids. She can't know about the babysitter. So she goes out on her girls night or whatever, right? And then you show up at the bar she's at, ideally before she gets there and, or the restaurant, and you're just sitting at the bar <laughs> eating a burger, just going, and then when she spots you, she's going to freak. So as she's screaming, just go, what? And then when she goes, what the hell are you doing here? Where are the kids? Drag it out for as long as you want. I recommend you go pretty quickly into explaining what happened. Maybe give her a four second, five second freak out. But if you give it a minute, you can get tears. Number eight, call taking care of your children without her around babysitting. What are you talking about? I babysat them all Saturday, and then I babysat them on Thursday night. It's basically two full shifts of babysitting. God. 
Number nine. Wear her underwear like it ain't no thang. Oh, I ran out of underwear. Number 10, be into your scent. Oh. Oh. Smell this, it smells exactly like me. And that's it, folks. That is 10 ways to drive your wife totally insane. I hope no one dies from this and I get sued, and I hope there's no divorces, but otherwise, it can be a fun way to pass the time, and it sure beats eating your own barf. Did you like that? Okay, check it out. I got a whole comedy show called How's It Going, Eh? You just have to click right here to subscribe.